who he know who does it better than this I'm the boy you done get it I'm on top of the list trying to get a good signal like a satellite dish every day to me it's like a solar eclipse I Y'all so that getting geek, welcome to my channel. We're about to dive right into a watch mojo video right now. Actually, a few. Make sure to check out my channel after this video to see the rest of them. This is top 10 reasons why Dune will be the best sci-fi movie of the decade. I'm excited. The trailer looks phenomenal. Let's not waste any time and just dive right in. I'm sloppy. Really damn sloppy. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 reasons why Dune will be the best sci fi movie of the decade. Starting, I'm going back to the book and, uh, and uh, find out the going back to the it's images that sense I, of you. Uh, came out when I read it. That's wonderful news. <sighs> for this list, we're looking at the many reasons to get excited about this highly anticipated adaptation, I'm as well excited. as the factors that make it seem poised to Makes become me a landmark check out the book for sci-fi really cinema. Know the book, What's but your favorite sci-fi epic? I kind of also want to go in into a draw, below. you know what I'm Number saying? 10, Have my the story experience itself. with it. For the uninitiated, we should probably begin with an introduction to Frank Herbert's hugely influential 1965 novel. Dune tells the story of Paul Atreides, mm -hmm. a young man and heir to his father's title as Duke, whose family serves as the stewards of a planet called Arrakis. He may also be a messiah of some sort. You inherit too much power. I got that you already yourself. from the trailer. You must learn to rule Just look at in this it. interstellar feudal society, familial houses like House Atreides vie for power. Let's fight like demons. And there's nothing more like demons. powerful than spice or melange, a multi purpose substance upon which this entire futuristic civilization runs. The only place to get it? Arrakis. But, sire, we can't leave all this spice. Damn the spice. Get out of there. Dune is a space epic with few equals in terms <laughs> of complexity. While Paul's journey is the heart of I'm this story, it. the thematic the fact ground that it covers why truly people are fighting the over cosmos. spice. Such a fucked up. <laughs> the legend will be born. Number nine, an adaptation long in the making. This is not the first Dune adaptation. There oh, are that. many fans, however, who feel that David Lynch's film and the 2000 miniseries both fall woefully short in their own ways. There's a miniseries? Really damn sloppy. Some believe that no adaptation can do the source material justice. They'll all be turning on one another like rats in a flood. By the time the traitor is fully revealed, the fate of our traitors will already be sealed. For every attempt that's been released, there are at least two or three that never made it past pre-production. Famous such examples include the efforts of the Planet of the Apes producer Arthur P. Jacobs and a version from Paramount Pictures with Peter Berg set to direct. Filmmaker Alejandro Hodorowsky famously planned a 10-hour adaptation that included Orson Welles and Salvador Dali in its cast, God with damn. music by Pink Floyd. All that to say, if successful, this film will be the stuff think of it's, cinematic it's legend. It's a two-part, a three-part movie. They're making a full franchise to... Only I will remain. Number eight, Denis flesh out the movie. track record. So why do we believe that filmmaker Denis Villeneuve can crack the code of this seemingly Arrival, unfilmable property? Blade Runner. Because his filmography reads like a training manual for it. Is that Prisoner? Me, not you! Not you, but me! After did producing prisoner? a number of well-received French-language Canadian films, he broke into the mainstream in 2013 with Prisoners and Enemy. Both of these films, as well as his earlier efforts, showcase his talent for tackling challenging subject matter with Fresh and all, amen, dude. The latter in particular shows that he's not intimidated by high-concept projects. Most importantly, though, he's since distinguished himself as one of the most capable cerebral sci-fi directors of his generation. Exactly. <laughs> What happens now? They arrive. Arrival proves he can do subtlety, while Blade Runner 2049 establishes him oh. as exactly the sort of director that you really you want love an this movie or you sandbox. really hated it. An that angel. seems to be such a divisive Made movie, and again. I love it so much. It's for you. Number seven, the universe building. The history of sci-fi has seen countless fictional futuristic societies come and go, but exactly. few are as lovingly crafted as that of Dune. Do you often dream things that happen just as you dreamed them? Yes. We're talking about a level of complexity comparable to what J.R.R. Tolkien achieved with the history of Middle Earth. You shall not pass! The old Star Wars extended canon also comes to mind. 
doesn't matter that Dune is a work of fiction. The attention to detail is such that this society feels fully functional to the point that it could exist. The biggest hurdle when it comes to sci-fi is getting the reader or viewer to suspend their disbelief and feel transported into this larger-than-life universe. The future. I can see it. And a world this rich has rarely, if ever, been brought to life on the big screen before. Number 6. The Attention to Detail and Set Design to bring Herbert's world to life Designed. effectively, you need a filmmaker who is equally meticulous. Something none of your ancestors learned. Looking at the trailer, Denis Villeneuve has clearly gone above and beyond. Herbert dreamed big, far beyond the technological means of his time. Armed with his knowledge of the books, what we can only assume is a massive budget, and cutting-edge VFX, Villeneuve is making the world of Dune a reality. This is an extermination. They're taking so much footage from like three They're minutes my off one that it Everything seems repetitive seen in this from video. Costumes to ships and technology feels as if they're a result of a painstaking pre-production process. According to Villeneuve, a year of planning went into the sandworms alone. Quote, God damn. From the texture of the skin to the system to eat its food in the sand, they endeavored to make the creature as real as possible. It did look astounding, though. Number five, doing the novel justice. There's something awakening in my mind, I can't control it. In case the previous entry didn't make this clear, Denis Villeneuve has a real passion for Dune. I mean, I was like, I, I, I read all That's why the fans are supposed to adapt books. to these things. And the world. If they don't the complexity, they do the some weird changes the, that the, sometimes work, sometimes the don't. The richness of the cultures, the way it was described. He's made no secret of the fact that this has long been his dream project. Discussing his approach, the director, who also co-wrote the screenplay, I mean, has explained like, that they he saw his passion, the budget they gave him, goddamn, single from the cast alone. <laughs> his justification, quote, the world is too complex. It's a world that takes its power in details. If that doesn't suggest fealty to the source material and a fundamental understanding of Herbert's approach to world building, we're not sure what else could. Villeneuve credits the book's many roots as the reason it feels so, quote, rich. And he's repeatedly outlined his intention to honor this complexity and thematic richness. I'm starting, I'm going back to the book and, uh, and uh, find out the, going back to the images that uh, came out when I read it. Number four, it's a standalone film. Denis Villeneuve is also working on a Dune spin-off prequel series intended for HBO Max. Given the many what? failed would-be franchises we've sat through in recent years, this could be seen as cause for concern. The test is simple. Remove your hand from the box, and you die. What's in the box? Pain. As King Arthur, Legend of the Sword, and the Dark Universe taught us the hard way, good standalone films are a prerequisite to starting a cinematic universe. Something doesn't smell right. Thankfully, both Villeneuve and other key players involved in the production, including cinematographer Greg Frazier, seem to subscribe to that philosophy. Villeneuve is only adapting the first half of the novel in order to do the source material justice. Frazier has clarified that it is, quote, a fully standalone epic film that people will get a lot out of when they see it. Number three, the incredible ensemble cast. The exactly. talent that Denis Villeneuve has managed to assemble for this film is quite frankly astounding. Are you ready? The cast includes Timothy Chalamet, Rebecca Ferguson, Oscar Isaac, Josh Brolin, Stellan Skarsgård, Dave Bautista, Stephen McKinley Henderson, Zendaya, Chang Chen, David Dastmalchen, Sharon Duncan Brewster, Charlotte Rampling, Jason Momoa, and Javier Bardem. Chalamet and Zendaya may be young, but both have proven themselves multiple times over. Yeah, Furthermore, they have. the presence of such consistently excellent performers as Ferguson, Isaac, Skarsgård, and Bardem all but guarantees the acting will be top-notch. As for Momoa and Bautista, we can only hope we'll get to see these two heavyweights trade blows. This has Best Ensemble written all over it. Number 2. A Relatable But Flawed Hero Though he may be surrounded by talented actors, Timothy Chalamet is very much the star of the film. I must not fear. He's had one hell of a career, though. Fear is the mind killer. Chalamet's work in the Greta Gerwig films Lady Bird and Little Women has earned him legions of fans. Call Me By Your Name is proof of his leading man potential. That's wonderful news. And I while neither watch all of them. Boy or The King made as much of an impact as people expected, his performances in both are hard to fault. You expected me a speech! I love both those movies. It didn't give. make an impact for real it for us? It is the same one I'd give were we not standing on the brim of a battlefield. It is the same one I'd give were we to meet in the street by chance. All things considered, we can't think of an actor better suited to play Paul Atreides. 
Chalamet is capable of coming across as charismatic, youthfully naive, and wise beyond his years as needed. And all three are required for this role. Fans will quickly come to identify with Atreides, even as power threatens to corrupt him. An animal caught in a trap will gnaw off its own leg to escape. What will you do? That was Before a line of dialogue sure that to killed to everybody. And ring the and bell to get reactions. notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Stretch myself. Number one, a balance of cerebral themes and epic spectacle. Sci-fi is an umbrella term for any fiction dealing with futuristic concepts or technology. That encompasses an endless variety of tones, approaches, and subgenres. For Denis Villeneuve, his interest in sci-fi seems to be in its potential to explore high-concept ideas that are also deeply human. Mm -hmm. That's really Villeneuve's 2016 film Arrival in a nutshell. And the director seems poised to do Herbert's novel proud in terms of Dune's heady themes and far-reaching ideological questions. What questions? Villeneuve seems to have learned from his work on Blade Runner 2049 and will be pairing this with far more spectacular set pieces. From the looks of the trailer, Villeneuve is giving us Christopher Nolan levels of spectacle, ensuring that Dune is a feast for both the mind and the eyes. All of civilization depends on it. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. I was really kind of like sold on the movie, but I got more information about the source material and the people involved and the direction they're hoping to go into. So I'm really excited more. And it seems like they're going to really spoil us with the prequel series and everything else. I'm really excited. I hope you guys are excited. Tell me what you guys think. Are you guys excited? Deuces.